Alright, welcome back to the um, 22nd Java GUI tutorial, part 2 of our color chooser series. Alright, let's get back to where we were. So we set the layout for our sliders panel, and that's going to be three rows, so it's going to be um, higher than it is wide, I guess. And now we need to add our sliders to our sliders panel. So. Oh, excuse me. Sliders, add um, red slider, and then add the, the other one. So, um, what was it? Green slider and blue slider. Ugh. All right, now do the same thing for our labels. Set layout, and that's also gonna be a good layout, and with the same parameters as the other one, so three, one, two, two. Alright. Perfect. Now well, we're done with the constructor. Yep, alright, so go out of that and do your public class um thing event <laughs> event class so public class event implement I spell that wrong Imp how do you sp spell implements implements there we go Ch it's going to implement change listener and we need change listener because well obviously our slider is going to change and need to listen to what change is happening to it. Alright. And then the method is there's only one and it's called state change and it's void. So public void uh state change and parameters it takes are change event and whatever. I'll put E again. Ugh. Alright. There we go. Now what we need to do we need to make three what is it? Integer variables that are. Right, I'm losing my brain here. Um. Anyways, the integer variables are the value of the slider. Yeah, that's it. So, int r is equal to red slider, and then to get the value, well, it's pretty easy. You type in get value. Very simple. Java is pretty easy, isn't it? And then int g is equal to green slider get value and same thing for blue so blue slider and get baseline ah just kidding you actually get the value <laughs> all right now so this all this is happening when we are sliding our sliders around so what else we want to happen well we probably want our labels to get updated to reflect whatever value is in our slider. So to do that, you go um, red label, and that's gonna be we're gonna set the text on it, and then we're gonna say red equals, and then put um, plus r, right? And same thing for the green and blue labels. Alright, anyways, and blue label, though. Um, blue label, set text, and blue is equal to whatever our blue value is, plus B. Alright, so we're done with that. It's pretty simple. If you don't understand, basically, a state changed event is fired whenever we adjust our slider around. So whenever we move a slider, it's going to generate new values for int r, g, and b, which is the values of our sliders. And um, it's going to change the labels. And the most important thing that I almost forgot, this would be the most important part of our program probably, um, it's 
color panel, set background, and then we're going to have a new, because every time we do it, we want a new color, and then new color RGB. There we go. So whenever we slide it, it's going to adjust our background color on our panel to reflect the values of the R, G, and B, which are the values of our sliders right here. Alright, it's a lot of code. Well, not really. It's not a lot, but it's... Eh, whatever. <laughs> Alright, now, the part that you should know probably by heart by now, which is the main method. Public... Yeah. Alright. Wait, wh why did I type that? Um, color changer. Make sure you spell that wrong too. And um, size. And this is pretty important. I've made this program before, so I I kind of know like what dimensions to put in, but put something about 300 and 110, and that should display it fairly, fairly good. So run it. Make sure it shows up. And yep, it did. Here it is. See, we've got, well, just let me show you what it does, then I'll go over the layout piece. See that? Change the red, it goes all the way to red. And if, if I put all of them to 255, it's going to go to white. Or I can mix, mix, mix and match and get these different colors. And it all depends on the values of the RGB slider. I mean, it's, you can make almost any color you wanted. So, but I'm gonna go over the layout now because I think that's more important. Why well, I, I don't know, but the functionality part is, piece is very easy, I think. Anyways, where does it start? Uh, right here. Container pane is equal to this, which is the J frame. Then you gotta get the content pane, and then so this pane is like this pane is basically everything in here. And then the grid layout. It's got one row. If you can kind of visualize this, here's where the divides would be, right here and right here, because these are equal um, width. And then we've got some nice padding around them. And yeah. Then we at, got their sliders. This is our sliders, this is our label panel, and this is our color panel panel. And it's in a grid layout of 1-3. And then these are good, good, good layouts of 3, 1, so it's um, 3 rows, so it's 3 down and 1 across, and then 3 down and 1 across. So, yeah. I better close that because sometimes my stupid screen recording software freezes up if I keep messing around with that too much, but anyways. Um, yeah, if you don't understand anything, just leave a comment in the code and I will, I mean, leave a comment in the video yeah and I will definitely respond and try to help you so thanks